Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. So let's jump right in for Libra, Spirit Angels Guides. What can Libra expect in love? What message comes for Libra regarding love? Let's take this one. To be fair. Oh, that's such Libra energy there. Um, so whatever's happening here, Libra, for you regarding love, I feel like it's going to be fair to you. It's going to be something that comes out in your favor. Um, I feel like there will be balance, there will be fairness uh, in whatever takes place here regarding a per I feel like this is regarding a particular person, a particular relationship. What else do we need to know? For Libra, what else do we need to know, Spirit? What guidance? What messages do you have for Libra? Balancing act. Yeah, there's something here with balance. Um, a decision that comes out in your favor or something that is um, balanced out, restore, balance is restored. Standing firm. Defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. I feel like nothing can touch you right now. Whatever's happening here for you in love, I feel like, I don't know, you're untouchable. Things are working out for you. Wedding bells, marriage, commitment, union. And at the bottom of the deck, we have parting ways. Interesting. So maybe this is someone that you have separated from. Maybe there has been a separation in the past or a separation that's taking place in the present. Um, we'll have to see what this is all about. Spirit Angels Guides. What is coming Libra's way? in love what is coming Libra's way in love let's see four of wands okay knight of pentacles and the four of swords so again I feel like there's something on its way to you with this knight of pentacles that I feel is like the best thing that could happen for you at this time Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups, options, choices. This is really interesting to me because I feel like, um, let me get this deck. I feel like with this um, Four of Swords and Four of Wands, maybe this is something that you've reflected on. Maybe you've done some sort of healing. Maybe there is something here with communication because usually Four of Swords, they don't communicate or act. They just think. So maybe there's little communication happening but um, we'll have to clarify and see. It's almost like maybe things are quiet and then this Knight of Pentacles shows up. Now I'm wondering with this Four of Wands if there's already a marriage that exists, if there's already a long-term uh, commitment that exists here. Oh my God, can I keep my cards <laughs> from going everywhere? Apparently not. Give me one second here while I grab these cards of course I dropped like eight of them hmm. okay let's try that again okay, I cannot hold on to this deck it's killing me okay let's look at this four of wands why is the four, okay, it's like wants to talk. Ten of Swords, okay, why is the Four of Wands here? Spirit, why is the Four of Wands here? Four Libra, oh my gosh. Okay, King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles for me as a reader, they tend to already be in some sort of a commitment, are providers or just business people. Um, very stable, very established. 
I feel like there's an ending here, but I, I can't pinpoint if this ending already happened or is about to happen. Um, I feel like whatever this ending is, someone is making a different choice here with the Two of Wands, choosing a different um, path, headed in a different direction. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Nine of Swords. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Wands shows up again. Worry, anxiety over stability, over something happening at home, over a marriage perhaps. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Five of Cups and then the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is an offer or something that someone's hoping for after, you know, some sort of a departure here. There's the Empress. Someone walked away or is walking away. Something, you know, and this could be that I'm reading for two different Libras. I just don't know just yet. Um, I feel like the main message so far that I see is that things are going to be fair to you in the end. Whatever is happening now, whatever has happened in the past, it will work out. Um, I feel like someone's really in their head here with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Like they're really worried, anxious, fearful, regretful over the past. And it could very well be that there was an ending in the past and now someone that walked away wants to come back in because the Eight of Cups is here, the Ten of Swords is here. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Wow, the Emperor Aries energy. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Page of Wands. So this is someone taking action. This is someone taking initiative, making a decision to start something. The Devil showed up. Capricorn energy, Three of Wands, and then the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I feel like there's something that is going on here that is just not easy to explain. Um, maybe it'll be different for all of you. There's strength, Leo energy at the bottom of the deck. So for example, whatever someone's worried about, whatever this parting ways ending, difficult ending is with the 10 of swords, whatever happened in the past, it's not simple. Maybe um, someone made a wrong choice somewhere down the line. Um, maybe someone now is um, wanting to choose a different path because we have the two of wands, three of wands here, almost like someone's waiting to kind of get out there. I have to see what that page of wands is about. Why is the, oh my God, what is happening with my text today? It's like they don't want to stay in my hands. Tell me about the page of wands. Tell me about the page of wands. The Three of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so someone really wants to work on something, put in effort, build something here with the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so whatever, whatever was really bad or not healthy, not... Yeah, the moon. It could have been an illusion, Pisces energy. It's like turning around here with the Wheel of Fortune. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like something in the past happened here. The problem is that it's just not obvious. When I look at all these energies, it's not something that's coming, you know, right in, like, it's not like a clear cut message. I have like three messages in my mind right now, right? So like one group of you Libras, I feel there was an ending in a marriage. There could be legal situations happening there. You're being very strong. You're possibly worried about finances. You're possibly worried about what's going to happen after you have this separation. Um, maybe you weren't really clear about something. Maybe you thought that you knew who you were dealing with and you're finding out that, you know, it was an illusion. But now, eventually, things will work themselves out. That's one group of you. Second group of you, it's not you. It's your person that's going through all of that. Maybe they're in some sort of a commitment that they're trying to get themselves out of now or are worried about now. They, maybe they're worried about their stability, their home life, um, custodies, uh, things that have maybe turned ugly. Um, you know, being independent, taking initiative to take care of this problem 
that's another group of you. And then a third group of you, I feel like there's a mix, right? It's like there could be some sort of offer that someone's waiting for here. They're really worried about this offer coming in, but there was an ending in the past. And so now there's not a lot of clarity as to what's going to happen next. You know, so they're very, they're three different messages for me. Um, so, you know, it's very interesting that that's how this is coming out. I also get with this five of cups and six of swords, I mean, nine of swords and the five of cups here, like someone's really in their head, like I was saying before. So let me see if I can get some clarity about that. Spirit, tell me about this five of cups and six of swords. Why do I keep saying six of swords, nine of swords? <laughs> tell me about the five of cups and the nine of swords. Why is the Five of Cups here with the Nine of Swords Spirit? Ten of Cups. Okay, so maybe someone's worried about getting their happy ending, family situation. Yeah, Six of Wands. So someone really does want to be successful here, to have a victory, to have things work out. And I think that they're really worried that things won't work out because of this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords, I feel, is like the common denominator. So a difficult ending, something that didn't work out. It's affecting the future now or what someone's dealing with now. So let's um, clear this out so that I can ask Spirit about who you might be dealing with. What do we need to know about that person? Could be an Aries, a Leo, a lot of signs showed up. An Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces showed up, Capricorn showed up. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this individual? The fool, taking risks, a leap of faith into a new beginning. What do we need to know? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, things slowly coming together, harmony, balance, resolution, and the Nine of Cups. Whoever this is, they're wanting to fix something to, in order to get their uh, wish fulfilled. Balance here is very important. There's the star, Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck. This person has a wish, a desire. What's this Nine of Cups about? What's this desire? What does this person want, Spirit? The hangman, okay. What is this person's nine of cups? What can you tell us? The wheel of fortune. Um, I feel like this is someone that needs like a miracle. Like they, they are desperate for a miracle here to help them with this hangman. There's the emperor. Wow, look at all this major arcana. Aries energy shows up again. This is someone that takes charge. I feel like this person just wants the right opportunity. Like they just need things to present, like, like the right time to present itself or something like that to get something done here. Which, remember that the Emperor came out with a Page of Wands, which is someone that would be this full energy. Take risks. Take initiative. Take the first steps towards action. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor Spirit. What do we need to know about this? Oh my gosh. Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Emperor. There's something here with money. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so this Emperor needs to fix whatever this is. And look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a person that's having money problems or is stuck somewhere because of money. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Maybe they're afraid about stability, money. Um, afraid about their finances taking a hit. Tell me about Temperance Spirit. Why is Temperance here? King of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, more fire. Tell me about Temperance. So again, someone slowly, yeah, this is someone taking action. Wow, and then the tower. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is your energy here. So the Emperor and the Empress, um, divine counterparts. I think that this is someone that's causing a tower. Judgment and the tower. Um, sometimes when I see these two together, I think of some sort of awakening or revelation that like brings something completely to the ground, um, especially because after judgment is the world. So it's like someone's preparing to end a cycle with a tower. 
Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here, spirit? Why is the tower here? Wow, the two of swords. Why is the tower here? I just heard drag feet. So it's like someone maybe was dragging their feet um, for this tower. Three of pentacles. Tell me about this tower. The chariot, cancer energy. Yeah, I feel like someone perhaps was stuck. Two of swords, eight of swords showed up. This is all about indecision, being guarded, not knowing what to do. I feel like this tower is helping someone move forward, move on, make a move with the chariot, cancer energy. This could be somebody leaving a job, leaving a home, something like that. Why is the fool here? Okay, I don't know what's going on in my deck today. Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, <laughs> Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that wants it all. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. I feel like this is someone that's going to be working hard to have this new beginning, but has no idea how it's going to work out with the Seven of Pentacles. I just need to be strong. I just need to be brave. I just need to stamp firm keep you know myself in check you know because things will work out for me if i do this if i if i basically if i do things the smart way because the seven of pentacles eight of pentacles page of pentacles these three don't take unnecessary risks they take their time they plan you know they they're detail oriented what do we need to know about this person's energies for some reason, whatever's going on here, it has to do with you. Ace of Cups, the Fool, Ten of Cups. It's like Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is for you. I made a mistake. I feel guilty. Okay, so this is someone that has a lot of regrets. Pretty clear energy. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's energies? Towards Libra. Libra, if this crazy reading has resonated for you, let me know in the comments because I feel like it's a pretty all over the place reading because nothing here was like clear. I have learned from my mistakes. I made a mistake. I learned from my mistakes. So this is someone that um, has really learned an important lesson. Judgment did show up. So that makes sense. I haven't been the same since we met at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're having regrets over the past and they have learned an important lesson. But not only that, with the Emperor showing up, the Page of Wands, the Fool, you know, it's like they're doing something about this realization. Maybe they're realizing that life hasn't been fair. The situation they're in is not fair to them. Um, maybe a separation is needed or maybe in the past there was a separation between you and now they want to fix it. I see both ways there. So I'm going to leave that there, Libra. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.